Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy again, Unseen Assassin, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, if you haven't quite seen it yet, we finally finished our second case and finally convicted the true murder of Mahiru's death. Peko Peko Yama, otherwise known as Starlight Justice, wherever the hell she is, killed her for some reason. There's still more details we're going to find out about this episode of, as to why she killed her, why Fuyuhiko defended her so much in his trial, and more mysteries and, you know, secrets that we're not, so, you know, we're not, we're not knowing yet. If you enjoyed Danganronpa 2 Good by Despair and you want to see more, hit that like button, drop a comment, it lets me know that you want to see more Danganronpa content. Also, if you want to see any videos of the matter, whether it's Danganronpa or anything else, Hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, it lets you know when I post any videos in the future. And without further ado, let's continue on with Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. So in the last episode, if you haven't quite seen it yet, it was a very perplexing trial. There was a lot of frustration due to the fact that we had to not only figure out a murder happening with Mahiru, but prior to that when our memories weren't erased. There was some BS evidence that we had to use and find out that were strong leaps. If you haven't seen that, go back to the last episode, you'll know what I'm talking about. The fact that the bathing suit was an option, as well as the way how Pekko escaped through the little window with her sword. It's just, without, exp pri without prior explanation, it looks like the far stretch among, you know, all the murders, you know, that we experienced within the Danganronpa series so far in 1 and 2. But regardless, let's continue on with this. Uh, we There better be a really good reasoning as to why you did this. Uh. She's like, totally cool with it. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. Well, what are you saying? You killed Mahiru! Wrong! I punished evil in the name of justice! So you're implying that Mahiru in some way, shape, or form had some evil within her that's no reason to condemn me i don't know what she could have done because she's like one of the nicest people in the whole goddamn class whatever let's hurry up and vote so we can freaking kill this weird crazy bitch oh man there's no way you can kill me and why is that justice can never be killed you should all know that as well can you what <laughs> What are you saying? How are you gonna avoid death? Huh? To protect what's most important to you, you must be prepared to throw away something equally important. Uh huh. Understand? Not quite. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I mean, Monokuma's sleeping, so he can't quite explain what the whole situation is. And how are you gonna avoid death? You killed somebody. You should have to be executed. Then I shall be direct. Justice must carry on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. In order to keep justice. To keep me alive, you all must give up your lives. What? Ah! What's going on? Are you serious? It's not serious. It's justice. If I fall here, who will combat the evils of this Sonya, world? Sonia, can you like explain to us her motive? Cause like she's not making any sense right now. Now, follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all, and save my life to protect. Justice! Hurry and carry on justice! Give me a break! Who's gonna die for you? If we let Pekko go, we're all gonna get killed! For the sake of grand justice, a few sacrifices are so unavoidable. So she's trying to convince everybody to not vote for her and vote for somebody else so that she can live. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of people. Don't worry. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. I can't stand her anymore. Let's vote already and execute her. Um, however, b before we do that... Uh-huh. Monokuma, the vote! Hurry up and let us vote already! <sighs> I'm awake! Ah, he finally woke up! Shut up, Monami. I've heard your story. Well, I wasn't listening, but who cares? Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart-pounding excitement! I mean, if everyone had a half a brain cell after, you know, this, you know, trial, 
we know who the guilty verdict is going to go to. It's going to go to Pekko. Guilty. Oh, hey, that's the end of that trial. Pardon me. Can we please have a little more time? What? Why? Um, pardon me. Can we have a little bit more time? Please let us continue our discussion. Continue our discussion? But isn't the voting over? Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. We still don't have the answers from Fuyuhiko as to why he defended Peko and other people as well. Strange? Huh? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Peko is the killer. Yeah, we know that we already voted. That is true. However, spit it out. As a serial killer enthusiast, you're wondering if Petko is really sparkling justice. Am I right? Huh? What? Hey, Miss Sonia isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion about them than most. That makes her an enthusiast. Yeah, that's the term. <laughs> Honestly, it felt strange to me too. I mean, there's a distinct difference between what we know about sparkling justice and Petko, right? Uh, d distinct difference? Not really. Do explain, Nagito. You know, Sonia describes sparkling justice like this. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me! Sparkling justice! Well, what the heck was that? That... Is spark oh, is that is Sparkling Justice's catchphrase? An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase? I read it in a magazine in the library. There has only been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. I see. So that's what it was. I think I've got the difference between the serial killer and Pekko. Nationality? I see! That's right. According to what Sonia said... You can fail. I wonder what happens if you fail that part. Does the trial, like, make you lose? We already voted. The article was written in their native language, so I tried to translate it. If she had to translate it... That means it wasn't written in English, right? Oh. Huh? Yes, the magazine I read was written in Spanish. Oh. So, Sparkling Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both... From Spain? <laughs> what? <laughs> We're just gonna assume from Spain. All this time... I completely misunderstood when I first heard about those serial killers, Genocide Jack and Sparkling Justice. I just assumed both serial killers were from the same country, but that wasn't the case. If so... Heko, you're not Sparkling Justice. There's no way that's possible. You wanna say anything? Or, if you insist that you're Sparkling Justice, can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? Would you be able to do that? Hmm. It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. What is going on? However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. I don't quite understand what's happening. My duty has already been finished. What are you talking about? My duty as a tool. Yo, has wait a been second. Completed in full. Are you the traitor? Uh huh. Looks like she's back to normal. What the hell is happening? That mask has fulfilled its purpose, just as I have. What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose? Too late? What are you getting at? Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. 
Huh? Hey, be clearer. We're asking you what your purpose was. I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. T tool? What do you mean? She called herself a tool. Which means someone else used her then? Yeah, that would be of Monica. Course. A tool cannot do anything on its own. I see. I finally understand. Well, I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. What do you mean? I mean, besides Pekko and Hyoko, someone else was also at the beach house. That is true, because... Hold on, so three people, including the murderer, found Makiwu's body. That would be Hiyoko, Pekko, Kazuichi, and somebody else when that announcement was made. Because then the announcement was made when Kazuichi found her. S someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. The proof that there was one more person at the scene of the crime. The body discovery announcement. I see. There has to be a fourth, a fourth person. Are you talking about the body discovery announcement? Yep, that's right. I mean, didn't Monokuma say so earlier? Somebody was there as well and didn't, you know, say anything yet. So, what about this time? Is it three people, including the killer, or not? Jeez, fine, fine. You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And in this particular case, the killer, Pekko, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... Yep, one I more see. person. That leaves us one person short. So that means there was one more person in the beach house. Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. No, that's not it. Then do explain then. Huh? Am I wrong? Yes. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. Oh my god. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. Who is that? Huh? Therefore, that person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? Well, the only person I can think of who actually has some kind of motive in all this, like, nobody else makes any sense other than you. Because you're the only one who had such strong feelings for us convicting Fuyu... Not Fuyu, you go, Pekka. You're the only one! Is it Fuyu Hiko? I see. Now I finally see the connection. The connection between the motive and the incident. What? But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? There's no reason to believe it's even true. Would you call a game like that a strong motive? No. The events that occurred in the game should have definitely occurred in real life. There's overwhelming proof of that, too. What is the proof? That whatever happened in the game happened in real life. Huh. What? It has to be one of these. Not. It has to be one of these photos. What did the ending prize girl eat after she was? No, not that one. No, wrong button. Um. Per isn't the murder case in since the actual event? No, I just had a small misunderstanding. No, that didn't. Okay, good. I'm not gonna lose. Okay, I don't lose any health. So it's just a guessing game. I want. Was it the first death? I can prove it with this! I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it if it didn't have anything to do with Mahiru's murder, but there's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. The photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. They're all actual photos, with the surrounding scenery cropped out. Oh, he's not happy about that one. You knew all along, Fuyuhiko, didn't you? You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister. Oh, right? damn. 
Because whoever beat the game first can receive the ending prize. <gasps> oh my god, he had it from the beginning. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Why did I not remember this? Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Shut up! What makes you think you have the right to any, any right to question me? It was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? So he was the first one to beat the game. If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. Oh my god. Hey! Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Shut up, Yoko. Because Paco is the killer, right? But we already voted. That's why I told you. You're all too late. As I said before, I exist What did you do, Fuyuhiko? I had no motive for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill. Not even the will to kill. I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. What did you do? Uh, hey! What's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? It means I'm not the killer. What? The true killer who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? Um, what? What the hell? I see. That's what you were aiming for all along. No, I have no aim. But my young master does. My young master planned this from the start. Huh? Young master? Young master? That is the truth of this case. I'm sure you realize it by now, but it's too late. You cannot undo the vote. That's a problem. If Peko's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. In that case, the person who gets to live is... Just... me? What? That's nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! So we should have not voted early and listened to Sonya? What? How, how would like... Peko be a tool in the first place? Peko is a legitimate human being! That's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. What the hell? I am so confused right now. What did I get for this one? A B again. Wait, did I get an A or B last time? I don't even remember. Can I? What was the? What was this one? What was the worst one? Uh, I don't even know. But like that was just. It looks. Oh my god. <laughs> I had very little time. I did awful. Hmm, I'm in a bind, and what a bind it is. So pretty much, Fuyuhiko convinced I me guess for now, kill? let's take a quick recess. We'll be right back after this commercial break. What? Okay. Hmm. Ahem. Although there were some twists and turns along the way, the one who killed Mahiru Koizumi is... H hold on a sec. <laughs> sorry. Okay, oh wait, so sorry. I'm just hesitating. Hey! Th there's no need to hesitate. No matter how you look at it, Peko's the killer. <laughs> Why? Hey, hey! W why? <laughs> well, it's obvious. You're not a tool. You're a friggin' human being. Well... If I'm a hu if I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. If that's what you're saying, you're wrong. You just don't know. Because you just don't know. You just don't know that there are people who only exist to be tools. People such as myself only exist to be tools. Hey. What does she mean, Fuyuhiko? Do you want to say something, you numbnut? <laughs> Peko and and I grew up together. 
Um. Are you two childhood friends then? No. No. It's completely different than that. Right after I was born and abandoned by my parents, the Kuzu Ryu clan took me in. Oh my god. I'm they gave me a reason to exist. I am to fulfill my duty as my young master's property. What? Property, you say? <laughs> it means he's a hitman arranged by my clan to work directly under me. Wow. If my young master is attacked, I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. So... Why kill Mahiru then? That is my only reason for living. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Look at, look at little Petko on the top right holding a sword at a young age. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. That is... But that is... You are wrong. You are not a tool, Pekko. Because if you are a tool, then what was all that time we spent together? Nothing. No oh, damn. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I was ordered by my young master to behave, just as I was ordered to interact with you all. What? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. Right after we arrived on this island, that is what my young master ordered me to do. You fiend. That is why you were hiding a relationship, you mean. No. It's not as if that started the moment we arrived on this island. Before that, my young master has always told me to hide our relationship. My young master loathes relying on his household's powers. He even hates me, the tool given to him by his household. Dude, you are a cold, cold man right now. I am nothing but a tool. No matter why I'm told, I am nothing but a tool for killing. If my young master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. Then, the one who tried to kill Mahiro wasn't you, is it was? Fuyuhiko? Damn it. It, it is what it is. When I thought I beat the game, I was suddenly given these photographs. So, damn it! Damn it! I don't understand. Why is my sister in these photos? Don't fuck with me! And she's, she's covered in blood. What does it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't even know if my sister is dead? You. You tried to confirm it with Mahiru. And that's why you wanted to talk to her. So? Yeah, I sent her the photos because I wanted to make sure she responded. But she never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me too. But... I'm pretty sure M Mahiru is confused too. I mean, we all are, or... Before anyone played the game, we didn't even know this incident had happened. That's why... Even if we're told that we're connected to it, there's no way we could accept it. Um... You know, um, when Mahiru spoke to Ibuki, she mentioned something about this. Aww. Ah, sorry. I actually have plans to go to the beach with everyone. Oh my my! Wait, huh? You're not gonna go, Mahiru? If you want to talk about it there, it'd be totally fine. Hmm... Um, it's pretty important, so... You know... It'd be troubling to involve the others. Huh? You sound pretty serious. Um... Serious or not, I can't really do anything about it on my own, so I wanted to think about it with me. I wanted someone to think about it with but... me. But... If I need to make amends, I would, but... I don't even know how... Are you serious? That definitely sounds serious. I can cancel my beach plans for you. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's important that everyone gets along anyway. Just tell them I'm not feeling well. Plus, it doesn't have to be today. There's always tomorrow. Damn, that is rough. Oh, oh my god. That's rough. She wanted to discuss how to make amends, but Hyoko was the only one who accepted her invitation. I should have gone too. But... 
But it was rather convenient for you, wasn't it, Fuyuhiko? If you couldn't make use of their plan to meet up with each other alone, you could easily lure Mahiru into a tra trap, right? Hey! By calling both of them to the beach house, you were able to pin, pin the blame on Hiyoko. What the- Seriously, what the heck? An eye for an eye. That's the world I live in. My little sister was murdered. If the reason that happened was because of some person here, Damn it! I have no choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? And so... And so, my young master thought of a plan and executed it. I wanted to use a bat as a murder weapon because in the game, that's what was used to kill girl E. For revenge, clubbing the person to death the same way my sister was killed seemed to make sense. Even if it ruined my disguise, it was the only thing I could do to avenge my sister. That is... So uh, that is why you killed Mahiru with the bat? Yeah. But still, I believed her up till the very last minute. That's why that game was just a work of fiction. But even so, that... Hey. Hey, if that game is actually real... Are you the one who killed girl E? Why you? Hey, I don't want to hear about that. But the fact that your sister was killed, the fact that your sister w was killed is terrible. It's unfortunate, but Why? you shouldn't have killed that girl. Shut the hell up. Who cares about that? Just answer me. What do you know about that game? What are you saying? You had no right to do that. Nobody has the right to judge others on their, for their crimes. Revenge it's just wrong. Jeez. Want me to be honest? This whole time, I was acting like a coward. Even after I call called over Mahiru, I was still trying to find an excuse to not go through with the plan. Yeah. But after she said that to me, that all went out the window. I got really pissed off and grabbed the metal bat that I hid under the bench. But at that moment... Young master called for me and made me kill Mahiru. Wow. Huh? Young master, I am finished. What? You are you saying you killed that you killed because you were in order to? <laughs> A tool is not defined by its will, but by its actions. <laughs> I don't get this at all. Of course! Well, of course you don't understand, because humans are completely different from one another. Everyone's birthplace and upbringing is different. It's obviously impossible for them to understand each other. Hmm. So everyone just pretends to understand and pretends to be understood. Be quiet. Hey, you're too annoying. Can you just be quiet? Yes, indeed! Okie dokie, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Afterward, just as my young master planned, I proceeded to tamper with the scene of the crime. However, I also considered the possibility of being found out. <laughs> so in order to get you guys to make the wrong choice, I decided to make use of that serial killer story. It cannot be! You insisted that you were sparkling justice in order to make us haze in our vote. So, we fell for it? We fell for her trick all along? <laughs> That's right. You guys have made the wrong decision. You voted for me, a mere tool, as the killer unaware that my young master was the true killer. That's obviously wrong! Uh, hold on, don't act like you, our loss has been decided yet. Um... Yeah, this is a bit of an odd situation due to the fact that even though, yeah, Fuyuhiko did, you know, order the kill, he didn't inflict the killing blow, you know, that this is a hard question. This is a hard question to answer because, yeah, Fuyuhiko is technically a murderer too because he ordered the death of Mahiru. That's on his hands as well. But you can also say that Peko is even more of a killer because she did the killing blow. No. No, it should be decided already. Isn't that right, Monokuma? This is troubling! I'll admit, I'll admit, all this talk about Peko being a tool sounds pretty persuasive. When you approach it from various angles, it makes sense that Fuyuhiko is actually the true killer. <laughs> hold on, I'm telling you to hold on. I see. I see. So for Peko, 
Fuyuhiko himself is your true hope, then. On his behalf, you killed Mahiru, and now you're trying to sacrifice, sacrifice us so that you can protect him. Great! You would go only. You would only go that far because you're the one and only hope. Wrong. Wrong. I have no hope. I am just <laughs> a tool. <sighs> well, even if we ask her, she'll probably just play dumb anyways. Now then. So I'm going to ask everyone else. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what do you think? Huh? About what? Hey, is Peko just a tool to you? Using that tool, surviving by sacrificing Peko and the rest of us? <laughs> Is that your hope? Oh, he's gone nuts. What? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. What's the use of asking something like that? What? Huh? You seem distressed. A mere tool doesn't panic like that, right? Yo, Nagito. Jeez. Peko, be honest. Are you trying to protect Fuyuhiko of your own free will? Whoa. Hey. Fuyuhiko, can you tell me the truth? The fact that she killed on your behalf? The fact that she lied to us by acting like the killer? Are those all things you ordered her to do? Is that the truth? Huh? I... I... Um... Fuyuhiko? Yeah. I know you hate her guts, but... Huh? If you listen to Peko, we're all gonna die! Yeah. I... 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 Young Master... Young Master, you just have to tell the truth. I was only following your orders. You just have to tell them that. I... I... Fuyuhiko? You mentioned this before, but... In this kind of situation, act, interact with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Byakuya and Teruteru, are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. You. You're still saying that. Of course, I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. You don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person. Because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are now, right? <sighs> Young Master! There's no need to hesitate. Young Master, please just tell them the truth. Young Master, you were the one who ordered me. I just did as I was told because I am a tool. Hmm. Fuyuhiko, this could be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way... You'll still lose Peko, but... Hey, if you insist you're the killer, just as she said, you can sacrifice us and survive alone. <laughs> or, would you rather reject Peko and fight alongside us against despair? Which one will be your hope? Let's hear what you have to say. Damn it! Wow, Nagito, you are like, giving it to him, huh? Holy cow. Young Master... I am finished. You... What the hell did you do? You already know, right? What's going to happen? After you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. Yeah. Hey, Pekka. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young master, that is impossible. Sh Shut up! I'm ordering you not to worry about me! There is no way I cannot worry about you. I am my young master's tool. A tool to protect my young master. Without an owner. The tool serves no purpose. Holy cow. God damn it, we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying? Jesus Christ, dude. Regardless, I will not flee. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. <laughs> then why did you... I have a plan. Huh? A plan? 
plan? Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. So she was. I, so he called over Pekko to do the hitting, but I don't think he implied that she was actually gonna kill her. You no, know, the alternative option could have just been like you both could have just you know stated who you were and then just survive. I'm sure the other students would have been a okay with knowing the truth. Of your relationship but now because of this it's either yeah peko has gone regardless but everyone else is at stake as well you idiot what do you intend to do i intend to fulfill my duty as your tool now please go hyoko will be waking up soon after you leave i must block the door to the road with mahiru's body hurry damn it you better run away Got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! So how about it, Fuyuhiko? Please, tell me the truth. Sorry. I'm sorry, Pekko. I guess... I couldn't go through it with it at all. After all. Young master! I'm a disgrace. Cuz... If that's actually what I have to do to survive, I just feel ashamed of myself. It'd mean I can't live without depending on something. I just feel disgusted with myself. Echo. And if I have to admit that, it means you really are just a tool to me. How many times did I tell you? I don't want a tool given to me by the Kuzuryu clan. Young master! Uh, oh. oh my, so this is how it turned out. Too bad. And here I thought it'd be more brutal and heartless. Man, how disappointing. Which means everything happened thanks to her meddlesome actions. Why you? There's no way a human that meddlesome could never be considered a tool. Damn. Hey, Monokuma, you knew all along, didn't you? You knew about what Pekko and Fuyuhiko discussed. Jeez. Well, it's obvious now. I mean, that's why you have surveillance cameras. You were just having fun, huh? Yeah! <laughs> Man, even if it was just an act of desperation, Pekko's claim was surprisingly interesting. <laughs> if you're actually the first to try to influence the outcome of a trial like that. <laughs> but too bad, you're definitely the killer. Pekko, the tool with the heart, is the killer. Wow. Sorry. Pekko, I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your request. Even though you did all that to provide me the chance to survive. But I... <sighs> I had a feeling it would turn out like this. Huh? What? Young master! You have a kind heart, despite being a Yakuza. That's why... You question your position and constantly worry about it. For you to sacrifice someone else just to escape by yourself? I believe you wouldn't accept that so easily. <laughs> We've been together ever since we were children. Even a tool would understand that. What? Then why? Even so. Even so. I, I wanted, wanted you to, to escape. escape. I wanted to protect you. Echo. Oh my god. I'm terribly sorry. I will not be able to serve by your side until the very end, young master. Goodbye. <sighs> and I'm sorry for what I've done to you all too. It may be selfish it may be a selfish request, but please forgive my young master. And please do yeah. not cause a senseless killing such as this. Ever again. Uh, of course. <laughs> Pekko. <laughs> that will do. Monokuma, why don't you start it already? I will never feel despair. Just so you know, I will never feel despair. As long as I am a tool, I am fully prepared to die. So cool! <laughs> so cool! But will you be able to maintain that composure until the very end? 
People who act as proud as you always shed tears of despair in the end. <laughs> now then, let's begin. Young master for you, Hiko. Please permit me to make one final selfish request. So? Didn't I tell you not to call me young master? I want you to remember. The tool, Peko Pekoyama, who used to stand beside you. I would like it if you would remember that. <laughs> That's it. How many times do you have to keep? I don't need any tools. <sighs> You did say that. <laughs> then let's begin! The punishment time brimming with despair. Jeez. Jeez. Why don't you get it yet? Thrills! Chills! This kills! time for the ultimate swordswoman, Pekko Pekoyama! Why? You stayed by my side all this time. Why don't you get it? Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! I... I never needed... A sword or a shield. I never needed a tool. So... You didn't need to become a tool. Let's give it everything we've got! You just... You just needed to be yourself. I... I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Only you. Young master? Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids! Let's go! It's punishment time! Please, Pekko. Don't go! I need you! Don't oh leave me! God, this is rough, huh? Young master? Young master! Oh my god! This is brutal, actually. Like, their relationship was so strong together, and now. Oh no, here we go. What's gonna happen? Ultimate Sword Woman, Peko Peko Yama, the one woman army. Oh my god. Huh? What? 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 What the hell just happened? What? Ah! Did they just freaking kill Fuyuhiko as well? This cannot be Impossible. even for you, Hiko. What in the? <gasps> oh my God! They killed the both of them. Oh my God! People dying so easily, falling like dominoes. <laughs> you bastard! What is this? This can't be. This is a lie, right? Peko, for you, Hiko. Such a waste, for heaven's sake. This is just the worst. Jeez, what a waste. This conclusion, what a waste. This is why she should have just discussed it with me. Damn it, it was supposed to be the cl a clash between two hopes, but what it was crushed went into something so unpalatable. Oh. You're, you're still talking about that? You. The hell's wrong with me? Or what the hell's wrong with you? Aren't you pissed that two of your friends got killed? 
such despair. I am pissed, and I even feel sad and hopeless. But still, isn't that right? Oh my God, he's gonna get it. It's going to be all right. This despair isn't worthless. <laughs> Even this despair is just a ladder to a bright, shining future that awaits us. The higher the ladder, the brighter we can shine. That is the unmistakable truth. Hmm. Calling me a ladder, huh? You say some pretty interesting things. <laughs> In a way, you misguided thoughts of what hope should be. Remind me of him. Hmm. I don't really understand. What you're saying? Listen carefully. Anyway, I shall make a de declaration. We will definitely destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> the hopes of all ultimates here will definitely, completely, utterly destroy you. There won't even be a strand of con left when we're done with you. That's your future. How much longer are you planning to say such stupid things? Holy, I'm still... So, for the fact that they both got found out, they both died. Oh my god. Out of nowhere, she freaking killed her own master. Dude. Don't you understand? Even Fuyuhiko died, you know? Not yet. He's... Still alive! What? Huh? Everyone! Fuyuhiko is still alive! You serious? Uh, are you serious? <laughs> Fuyuhiko! Frantically, we rushed over to Fuyuhiko's side. Oh, he's <gasps> badly messed up. He, he's still... He's still breathing! Mikan, you gotta do anything you can right now. Is he gonna be okay? Do something! Hey! You need to save him! Hey! Uh, I'm trying! But his blood, he won't stop bleeding out! His pulse is getting weaker! Can't you... Can't you do anything about it? God damn it! Hmm. Well, serves him right. You're so stupid! Were you filled with hope at the thought of trying of saving her yourself? That's why you ended up like that. You stupid brother! What are you so laid back about? You need to hurry up and save him! I don't huh? believe it! A surprise it. order? What the heck? Why do to burn my precious calories just to save some Yakuza scum? That's wrong! It's your duty to save him! Huh? Duty? Hey, hey! Because it's written in the school trip hand rules, whatever the hell they are. Oh my god! For the first time in like 13 episodes, she's finally useful! If only the Black Eater gets executed, then Fuyuhiko shouldn't be allowed to be executed. <laughs> well, if I could, I would do something about it right now. But since my magic stick was taken away, I'm practically powerless. Hey, hey! But you, you should be able to do it! Unbelievable. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. Fine, fine. Well, there's no way I can violate a rule, even if it's me. So... Fine then, I'll save him. Really? Like... Eh, I was actually gonna do that all along, so I've already prepared for this. Mm -hmm. Huh? Prepared? And that's when it happened. A siren began ringing from out of nowhere, and gradually grew closer and closer. It's the mono ambulance. Oh, uh, an ambulance? Oh my god. Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood! Dr. Killgood, you've already killed your patient! <laughs> we gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24 hour observation stat! Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wish that he, like, I'm not, like, I don't hate his, like, his character was very interesting. Yeah, he had bad moments. But in the sake of, like, the context of this trial, I kind of wish he died. Because that would have broken the rule. We probably could have done something about it. But, like, I think it would have been a better ending for Fuyuhiko if he died, you know, alongside. But I don't know. So, I'll see you later. There goes Fuyuhiko. And after he said that, 
The ambulance containing Monokuma and Fuyuhiko vanished from our sight. Um, is it really gonna be okay to leave this to Monokuma? Damn it. It can't be helped. It is not like there was any other way. Perhaps. He's gonna be fine. He's probably gonna get better and come back to us again. <laughs> You're right. He's gonna definitely gonna come back and talk a lot of smack as if nothing happened. Hmm. Then, all we can do is wait. <laughs> Why do we have to wait for him? I mean, he caused Mahiru's death, you know? However... However, we must put that aside since Pekka has already been punished. But, or else, we will not be able to advance forward. Fall, my tears. There are no second chances in life. We cannot return to what has already transpired. There is no other way to move forward, like an arrow of light piercing through the darkness. <laughs> Damn. D damn it! I guess I'm still lost as to why Fuyuhiko ordered the kill on Makiru. What she did, I I probably missed something. But there's some like details that oh shoot I missed that one sorry. Um I didn't realize it but I was wishing for that too. From the bottom of my heart. I really wanted him to return. Fuyuhiko! I don't want anyone else to be a sacrifice. Wow. And so, the class trial ended. But we still can't see the real ending that we really want yet. When that finally arrives, what will have happened to us by then? No matter where I look, no matter what possibilities I look for, I can't see our future, not even a speck. As if we were in a boat, floating unreliably, unreliably in a vast dark sea. We were just left there, alone. Only one word could explain our situation. Despair. We couldn't find a more suitable word than that. Oh my god. Fifteen days left. Holy cow. You guys can see it, right? You can see this countdown, too? Four people are already gone. We took our time preparing the hope fragments, but now we're no longer able to gather them. Honestly, I'm not so sure anymore. Whether it's better if we let them leave this island, or if we shouldn't let them escape. What? For those kids, which option is hope and which is despair? But I guess there's no time to hesitate. If this countdown reaches zero, that guy will probably take over our plan's final stage as well. What? What lies beyond that is the foul resurrection of the ultimate despair. And the continuation of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Th that cannot be allowed. We must prevent that by any means necessary. What is this ultimate despair? Even if despair? we have to pay the ultimate price, I will definitely prevent it by any means. Oh my god. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Chapter 2 is all set. Sea and punishment, sin and coconuts. Holy cow. That is just sad. To be continued. Obtain a present. A black dragon blade. Was that Pecos? Yeah, let's save our progress. Hmm? What's going on? No one's here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can totally see it now. Those idiots. I cannot I can't wait to see the surprised look on their dumb faces. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll probably be happy about it. 
they'd probably be very, very happy. Alrighty. <laughs> what the heck are you planning? Ding dong, bing bong. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Morning, huh? In the end, I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't sleep. Involving himself in Pekka's execution like that, suffering all those wounds... Is he really going to live? What, and was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? Worry has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly bur burdened. But that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in my bed. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. That's right. Just do it. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first, and then we'll question Monokuma afterwards. I'm definitely going to find out if Fuyuhigo is safe or not. Alright. Let's go to the restaurant now. Holy cow, what a trial that was. It's just insanity. Oh man. So I guess you can't talk to Fuyuhigo or Mahiru now. What's up, Sonya? What are you doing out here? Good morning, Sonya. Huh? Huh? Hold you, man. You insolent fool! Get back! Who do you think I am? I am sorry! Oh, that was unintentional. It is okay. Please, be your usual self. Yeah. That was close. I was really going to kneel before her. Um... I am terribly sorry. I was so worried about Fuyuhiko. I thought I could not sleep at all. That must be why my face looks terrible. I was just so embarrassed to be seen like this. I am ashamed! I shall go wash my face and come back one more time. Now then, ta-ta! She looked like she normally does. But just as I thought, Sonya and I were worried about the same thing. Is Fuyuhiko really okay? Honestly, I don't even know myself. It's just... I'm just wondering how he's gonna feel if he survives, if he wakes up knowing his master is dead, like who, like, you know, was controlled to kill him. Oh my god. Good morning, Chiaki. Hey. Yeah, good morning. You're up earlier than usual. Yeah, I couldn't really stay put and do nothing. Hmm. I see. Gaming as usual. No, I have a slight feeling she's deliberately concentrating on her game. Like, she's trying to keep her sadness from showing by completely like fo by completely focusing in gaming. Or is it just me? Wow. Damn. That's sad, though. That's really rough. This, this That second case was rough. As confusing as it was... Oh! As confusing as it was in the beginning, yeah, I did rant about it, and it is it is confusing, the whole thing about Pekko's case, but it's still, like, it could have all been prevented. All of this could be prevented. Well, Hajime, you're already here? Hyoko, you're the only one here. What are you acting so anxious about? <laughs> I'm not acting anxious. I just happened to be awake by coincidence, so I just came here early. I see. This girl... There's something strange. Is she trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again? I just happened to be awake by coincidence, so I just came here early. It's just a coincidence. Um, what the hell? What the heck is this? A panel has been propped up. It's giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. Didn't Mahiru take all these? But what's with this terrifying ambiance? Um. Yay! Wow! 
Wow, what's this? What an adorable decoration. Um... I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Mahiru's gonna be happy too. I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful that to them, right? Oh god, as much as I don't like- dude, she is like- She doesn't accept that Mahiru is dead, like the shock is just hitting her now. Hey Hiyoko, did you? Uh, hello! <laughs> Good morning. It's so rare to run into you two here. <laughs> what are you looking at? Huh? <laughs> She's scared. What are these? What are these horrifying photos? I expected that reaction. Yo, what happened? Yeah? What's up? What's up? Is it a brawl? Huh? Yo, what's with all this ruckus in the morning? <laughs> this is bad, but please take a look at those photos. Huh? Huh? Photos? Whoa! Whoa, what the heck? Hey, 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 hey! What kind of ambient, what kind of ominous crap is that? Or is this? Is this like something you use for sorcery? Mm, this is clearly an insult against Mahiru. Damn it. I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they've got a lot of nerve. <laughs> this is too much to actually treat Mahiru's photos like this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. ah, everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably good day. Good morning, everyone. Good nom nom nom. Good mongrel. Look at all those nasty photos! They're giving off a crazy huge ominous aura! Something like this! There's no excuse. This is too terrible. How could someone be such capable of such a heartless trick? No, seriously, it's just... Hey! I know, right? Seriously, it's the w just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. Huh? Mm hmm? You're right. There's no way. Mahiru will be happy with this. <laughs> She won't be just be, she just won't just be unhappy. I'm sure she'll be so angry, she'll cry tears of blood. Huh? Man, who the hell did this? No! No, we'll have to search for the criminal later. In the meantime, fool! <laughs> fire! Start the fire! We'll have to gra we'll have a grand bonfire so that Mahiru can reach Nirvana! Seriously, this is Hold it! You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn for Mahiru. You can't burn it. <laughs> huh? Mourn Mahiru? What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting Mahiru. You think so? Really? I think it's just a little clumsy. See? Why don't you just take a closer look at the intent instead of focusing on the appearances? Perhaps... Despite the clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this did their very best. If you look at it carefully, don't you don't you feel like you can sense their feeling? Mahiru is not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This was probably made with those feelings. Right? So I definitely think. Yep, it's a nice decoration. I see. After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. You. You sure are simple-minded. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want to burn it. Huh? huh? It cannot be. Um, was the person who made this? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mahiru was really, really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono. <laughs> she was really good at taking care of others. <laughs> Mahiru's probably lonely by herself. So I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. <laughs> Hiyoko, you... <laughs> I did want to make it look better, but... But, unless I'm dancing, I'm so, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. <laughs> I'm sorry! I am sorry! I I'm terribly sorry I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> sorry, Hiyoko. I'm sorry. Oh, she said that. Well, how should I put this? 
It looks like we misunderstood. <laughs> now that I have a closer look, it looks like you put a lot of thought into the decorations. For now. So, let's keep this thing around until we get off this island. No. No. It should come with us when we get off this island too. It would be a waste to leave behind such wonderful photos. <laughs> Dude, this is... This is sad, really, because, like, the death of Maki Rule, I'm still not understanding why it happened. Fuyuhiko ordering the kill, but then realizing, oh, sh like, why did you actually do that? I don't, this is, it was confusing, but it's just all entirely, this is just sad. You know, Peko and Fuyuhiko's relationship together, you know, and then mm, mm, Hiyoko not taking the death of Maki Rule so well. So we're not gonna burn it? Impossible! Of course not! We would never burn it! You. Weren't you the one who started shouting that? I got it! Fine. I'll forgive you all. Except me, Khan, of course. Oh, why? Why? Why are you so strict with me? I see. Man, I see. It's so unexpected. Meow! I just, I really ch can't imagine Hiyoko so, being so diligent and earnest about something. Huh. Who cares about that? <laughs> Yoko has a very kind heart. That's not it! Kind? Oh, come on. It's not like that. Jeez! Jeez, stop it already. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed. Stop it! Seriously, stop it. Don't tease me. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, Yoko is so adorable when she's embarrassed. Shut up! Shut the f*** up, you pig-faced troll! Why only me? <laughs> At any rate, I hope this finally I hope this is finally settled down now. <laughs> it's very like you guys to settle things like this. Hmm, really? It feels like we made such a huge fuss about it and finally settled things. That's just like you guys. Well little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. That's the reason why why we can move forward without feeling despair towards our situation. Yep. Yeah, you guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? This body is uncooperative. Hmm. Oh, here we go, Gundam. Here I have arrived. Apologies for the wait. What? What the? What is this object that is releasing such a foul aura? Impossible! Hmm, a malice clings to Mahiru even after her death. We'll be sucked in if we look directly at it. <laughs> look at the floor, our game. You're the worst. Wow. This is a very hopeless object. It doesn't bring in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming with malice. <laughs> Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it even for one more second. I'll destroy you! Stand aside! I shall shatter this barbaric, blasphemous, false idol to pieces. Oh my god, guys. And there she goes again. Now that those two are here, do you th still think we're splendid? Mm. Mm, looks like we're, it's gonna take a little more time. I completely agree. The scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing, all I could do was sigh. But at least it was a peaceful scene. However, we didn't realize just how short-lived this piece would be. Even though we were finally bonding, a situation was brewing, like a huge fracture running between us all. And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. Whoa. Alrighty. Chapter 3. Trapped by, trapped by the ocean scent. Now there's a cinema? Holy cow. <laughs> Whew, I'm stuffed. I can't eat another damn bite. Hey. All right, I think we're going to end it off here on this episode. We got a lot, you know, dumped onto us. I believe we should end it off here. Oh, man, the death of Peko, the near-death experience of Fuyuhiko, all this stuff. It's just crazy. But regardless, thank you very much for watching Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. If you want to see more Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, drop a like and drop a comment down below. It lets me know you want to see more Danganronpa 2. Also, if you want to see future uploads like Danganronpa or any kind of video I post in the future, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell. It's the only way you'll be able to know when I post any videos in the future. 
it's good to know ahead of time when I post these kind of videos to be able to know more about what's happening with Danganronpa 2. But anyways, thank you very much for watching Danganronpa 2. Goodbye despair. Stay safe out there, people.